When I was reading your biography, it seemed pretty light uh, on your experience as a chief executive officer. Are you in this mess because you don't know what you're doing, or are you just a shameless criminal? Thank you for giving me the opportunity to come and answer questions. Um, and actually, before I answer that question, can I start, please, with an apology? Um, actually, an apology to um, the seafarers that were affected on Thursday last week an apology to their families, and an apology to the 2,200 of our employees who have had to face very difficult questions over the last week or so. It's our assessment that the change was of such a magnitude that no union could possibly accept our proposal. Oh, you're and right that about case, that, Mr. Mason. I've never heard <laughs> such farcical answers to a series of questions. Okay, look, can I move on, Chair? The seafarers aboard the vessels that are leaving Dover, the replacement crew, they're going to be paying, on, a, on average, paid at the rate of £5.50 pence per hour. Yes. That's below the national minimum wage of this country. How do you, how do you reconcile that? Governed by national minimum wage, we will absolutely pay national minimum wage. Oh, this is an international good. seafaring model. Do you live on it, Mr. Hathaway, at £5.50 an hour? Could you, could you sustain your lifestyle at £5.50 p an hour? No, you couldn't, could you? Why do you expect people who've got such responsible jobs to be able to do that? How do you expect them to be able to feed their families and pay their bills at £5.50 an hour?